Hello everybody, what's up? And today I will be reviewing the Arkham Origins Bane figure. Yeah, I'm really excited for this figure. I don't know if you guys played Arkham Origins. I think it's a great game. Not as good as City or Asylum, but still, great game. And DC Direct did come out with a few figures. And so I got here Bane. Bane. This guy is awesome. And... I don't have the packaging, unfortunately. I threw it away. But, let's get started. And I wanted to start with the head sculpt. You guys can take a closer look at that. Let's see if it's zoomed. There we go. I think that head sculpt is awesome. Awesome. Really super game accurate. Um, really cool. I love the mask. I love the design for Bane overall in this Arkham Origins game. I think it was a bit better than Arkham City, but other people may not agree. But yeah, just take a look at the detail this figure has. DC Direct always puts some great detail, great paint apps on their figures. They're a bit fragile sometimes, but still, they still have some great figures out there. Here is his hand. The camera isn't focusing too well. That big bicep. Yeah, this guy's pretty bulked up. Yeah, here's his pockets. I like the style they gave him Bane in this, in this new figure. And here's his, his cool boots. You always gotta have some nice boots. I really love the paint. Like, if you see all the silver dry brushing these boots have, it's extremely nice. Extremely, extremely nice. I mean, the figure does have its problems, but. You can never say DC Direct has bad paint apps or sculpting. And I really like the back. Um, here, if you get that. There we go. Wait, focus. There we go. The back is really cool. The little backpack where it kind of looks like a skull. If you guys can see that. But it's really nice. And I really uh, like the all the green, um, the green paint apps and the silver paint apps all over the backpack. Where he gets all on steroids. Yeah, there we go. And I like on his neck, he has those tubes, if you guys didn't see that. Yeah. Super great accurate if you guys have played the game. If you guys know how he turns out at the end. But, yeah, I'm really enjoying this figure. I love the sculpt. I think this is one of the better Bane figures they came out with. Because I remember the Arkham City Bane didn't really have a lot of articulation. I think they came out with a new one and fixed that. But yeah, mm, now we'll get to the articulation. Which, his articulation is really lacking. Like, big time. But still, it, it has decent decent amount. It's a ball joint on his head, so he has some pretty good head movement. So that's not bad. But, his, he has shoulder joints, but they're really, like, they're hindered by the tubes. Like, you don't want to rip that, so you don't want to move the ball joint too much on the shoulder. He has a, it's not as hindered as over here, but it still has that strap stuck to the shoulder. So you want to, you want to be careful with this figure. He has an elbow joint, just one. Doesn't bend that far at all. It rotates at the elbow, and he rotates at the wrist. Nothing on the abdominal um, part, but his legs do go forward about that much they go back about that much they bend at the knee barely <laughs> rotate at the knee rotate at the boot and that's it like that's that's about it I didn't take a good look at that that's really nice and some of the tubes um, tend to pop out like the one here in, my, in the backpack if you see that just tends to pop out but you could just plug it back in Bloop. And there we go. You're good to go. But yeah, um, I had no problems with the tubes breaking, which is great. They just pop out, some of them. And yeah, I really like the detail. Really enjoying it. And let's get to some size comparison so you can see how big this guy is. He's a big boy. Here we have um, Batman from the same series, Arkham Origins. You can see how Bane just towers over Batman. Might review this Batman later on. 
unsure. But yeah, you can see how big Bane is. You got um, Bane against Bane. Uh, this is from the Dark Knight. Re uh, Dark Knight Returns. I mean, the Dark Knight Rises. Christopher Nolan Bane. I like this Bane. But this Arkham Origins design is really nice. And just a random one, a Luke Skywalker from the Black Series. Yeah. Yep, puny Luke. Alright, so, yeah, um, overall I think this is a great figure. Uh, it really lacks on that articulation, unfortunately. But it still has some great detail, some great paint apps. The sculpt is extremely nice. If you guys enjoyed the game, well, you, I'm pretty sure you would want to get this figure. Some people didn't like the game, and they would skip out on this, but I think it's just a great Bane overall, and I would really recommend it. Um, if I were to rate it from 1 to 10, probably give it an 8, um, just due to the articulation is really lacking. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good figure. It's not too, too expensive. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.